Hey, Joe. Can you hear me? I can't, I can't hear you. Okay. I was muted. Gotcha. Okay. Can you, you can hear me okay now? I, guess. I can. Yep. Yep. How are you doing, Eric? Good to see you. I'm doing good. I'm good. How are you? Very good. Yeah. How's Mia and Jenny doing? They're doing great. Yeah. Just kind of hanging out downstairs. Yeah. But, uh, you know, every day is the same. It is. And we're coming up is. on Groundhog Day. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just funny how, uh, I don't think that you, like that movie has given that day just like a whole new sort of a meaning. Yeah. Uh, right. It, you know, wasn't originally associated with it, but it, but it, uh, it's at least for us, it's kind of a tradition to watch that movie. Is it? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's, I have not this watched whole COVID lockdown. It's very much like that. Oh, you haven't watched it? Like, well, you know, have I, you ever seen it? I have seen it. It's been a long time, but yeah, I have seen it, but not recently. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. It's just, movie. yeah, it's a, it's, I really enjoy it. It's a, it's a fun, you know, kind of heartwarming person becomes, you know, bad person becomes a good person sort of a story. Yeah. But, uh, but it's definitely the whole COVID lockdown <laughs> thing has been just reliving the same day over oh. and over again, you <laughs> yeah. know, so it's got right. it. Right. Anyway. I, I watched that. There was a Netflix <clears throat> documentary about Bill Murray and, the, the stuff that he does just mm. to, to sort of inject himself into common people's lives and try to do things to um, improve people's lives or. Yeah, I heard something about that. It sounds familiar. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I just remember something he, he about just that. Random stuff where he, he picks some people that don't know that he's, nearby and he sort of inserts himself into their their group and starts socializing with them and he'll do things it's pretty interesting i'll have to check is that like yeah, on um is that like on netflix or I youtube it was on Net, i think it was on netflix yeah okay yeah i'll have to check that out yeah that kind of stuff is always kind of and I don't know, it's fun. It's interesting. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so who's that next to you? Oh, that's Chewy. He's going to pay attention tonight, I guess. <laughs> he looks like a good guy. He is, yeah. 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 So the, the news has been more heartening the last two days. Oh, are you kidding me? Heck yeah. <laughs> it's like, I feel like we've been at war for four years and the war is over. I mean, and it's not over, but you know, it's sort of, yeah, they, I feel like the forces of evil are in retreat. And, right. Uh, we have a path to success. <clears throat> I feel like somehow they destroyed the one ring somewhere in Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. I was just watching the, the press conference from a little while ago. So nice to not have people insulting people and Oh yeah. All that yeah. Business. I mean it's a little bit sort of uh what a you know, and it's just starting to come out like you know, like everybody knew it was bad, but then just sort of like how in disarray everything is. It's like these, you know, sort of like these savages broke into your house. I don't know. It's just things like the trans, like they're, they, they're not cooperating at all with the transition. You know what I mean? There's like no orderly handoff. It's just sort of like, okay, well, we're, we're quitting. We're going away. And they, you know, so right. there's an amount of like Biden's team trying to figure out like what's like, I was reading about the, uh, <clears throat> you know, Biden wants to halt the uh, construction of the wall, like immediately, but then of course they sign contracts. So it's like, okay, so what sort of cancellation fees are we into 
Yeah. You know, like, can we redirect it? Like they don't have any of that kind of information. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's crazy. Hi, Donna. Hey, Donna. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Doing good. Everybody's smiling more today. <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A weight. A weight has been lifted. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I, my fingers are crossed. I mean, there's like hope instead of sort of like this anger, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's a good feeling. I hope it lasts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Exactly. You know? I think it will at least we're being led by people who know how to make a plan and know how to follow the right experts mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. different topics. Oh yeah. But they've That's got a big thing. mess. They got a big mess on their hands, you know, especially with COVID. Yeah. But you're right. You're right. They're going to put a lot of know-how, <clears throat> a lot of good, good knowledge and experience to work. And um, I hope that will make a difference. I think if, COVID can be brought under control. More Americans can have a better life, yeah. you know, uh, and that will help. That will go a long way maybe to stepping these crazy, <laughs> in my opinion, delusional people, you know, yeah. thinking yeah. what they think. But. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, James, how's it going? Hey, guys. Hello, everybody. Good. I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow, actually. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, cool. I'm a teacher, so. Right. I remember there was a mad that there's like that one day, I think it was a Wednesday or something, early January, and Governor Whitmer had announced that teachers were part of 1B or something. And one of my friends was like in with it and like found out and message text texted me and a bunch of our friends and I barely got one. I remember like going on and trying and retrying to get one over and over again and finally got one. So that's good. Yeah. I'm happy for you. I can, I can feel personally a little bit safer because we've been in person. So. Wow. What school district are you in? Oxford. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Oakland County, Oxford and Brandon, we've been going since in person since September. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're more outside of the city. A lot of districts outside of the city have been in session, you know, a lot in, in person. I, I work for Anchor Bay. I'm retired now, but I was a school psychologist. I worked for Anchor Bay School in northern Macomb County for 32 years. And I've seen that they, they have been in session, you know. They've had their trouble. They've had some outbreaks and stuff there. <clears throat> but that's good. I'm I'm happy for you. I think I mean it I hope I hope we can get more kids back in school. That would be a wonderful thing. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know like my fellow compatriots, you know, I I did a bunch of online stuff last spring, but I can't imagine I mean that that burnout must be a little bit different from you know, yeah. the typical burnout is like a different type. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Well, we'll listen to what Ashley has to say about it. Right. She's doing it all, in, all online. I mean, are you a music teacher too? No. Mm. Okay. It's got to be really hard, especially with little kids, you know? <laughs> yeah, and them? Ashley has the little ones, right? You know? She does at least some, yeah. You know, they weren't meant to sit in from, front of a computer, to, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's hard enough motivating them. I mean, as a, as a re, in retirement, I've worked more with a, adults now teaching ESL and like, what a pleasure because they sit still <laughs> and pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Kids like, whew. My daughter just started uh, freshman year of high school this year. And so she's actually enjoying um, being working from home She's kind of quiet and shy, so the whole idea of starting in high school was a little intimidating. So it's she's doing really well, but you know it's 
I think it takes a certain kind of person to be able to have the discipline to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if you can focus, and if it, I think it's a little bit easier on introverted kids right. than extra, extroverted kids, and kids, kids who have focus problems or, wow, any kind of learning problem, wow, you know, ooh, I right. can't imagine. <clears throat> Hey, Tim, how you doing? Can you hear me? It doesn't look like he can hear you. Oh. Well, maybe. Can you hear us, Ashley? You can hear us? Okay. Can you hear us, Tim? Oh, he okay. can. Okay. Good. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? I'm smiling a lot more myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. wonder why not. I feel lighter. I can yeah. sleep better. <laughs> it's, it's curious. It's really curious. Just overnight. <laughs> yeah. It's a miracle. <laughs> I did have a inadvertent COVID exposure last Friday. Oh, no. Over at my sister's house. Yikes hasn't materialized into anything yet, but I'm considering myself quarantined. Wow, for fingers while. crossed for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so, boy, what a, uh, it's a, you know, such a, a hidden problem. Yeah. You know, that's the nasty thing about it. Yeah, yeah. And now with this, these more, uh, contagious variants coming our way that's scary yeah you don't know what it will take to actually the get stats it stats on that are scary yeah isn't it the british one isn't mm -hmm. it supposedly 70% yeah fast easier spread yeah mm -hmm. that's the current i know i read that i was like and i'm never leaving the house again <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very scary. yeah, but isn't the exchange rate for the pound like one and a half? So that would make it like what, forty-five percent? <laughs> is that how that works? Is, it, is that how that works? <laughs> sure, Mark, you, do, you you go about your, your business like that. <laughs> I hired <I'm> still here. <laughs> Boys, I think you, you should start consulting for Dr. Fauci. <laughs> I might appreciate your advice. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be cool to work for, I think. He was back on TV today at a press conference, and oh my gosh, he looked like so much more relaxed, Dr. Fauci, you know? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, he had one line. I heard him say, he said, uh, well, one of the new things we have under the new administration, if you don't know the answer, don't guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't have anything worked up to teach again this week. Um, I don't know if, um, if anybody else does, Tim or Mark or, or Ashley. I don't tonight. I no. yeah. try my best to play, but I don't have the muscle ability tonight to play. Yeah. yeah. Mostly like the last week, I think about 20 minutes has been the cap on the amount of time I've been able to play without taking a good long break. Yeah, I have not been playing hardly at all, trying to get my thumb yeah. to heal. It is feeling a little bit better, but it's still, still hurt me. Mm -hmm. What'd you do to your thumb, Eric? Uh, it's, I, it's some kind of tendonitis or something. It's, I, it's always had a, a pop in it. When I, when I bend it, it, it would always pop. Um, but just in the last, it's been two months. 
a, there's like a pain that radiates like down the side and the back between the knuckle and and the first joint here hmm. i don't know what it is but it definitely gets exacerbated by playing Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. No, no, I don't know if it's arthritis or tendonitis. I, I need to go see the doctor. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah I'm stacking up my issues for when I can, uh, you know, get there without being too risky of being infected. Yeah. Yep. And the like, the whole thing of physical therapy right now is pretty much a no go. <laughs> That's all sorts of contact. Yeah, yep. right. Yeah. Well, then should we just review some stuff? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Oh, I don't have my mouse hooked up. Oh, good. There's John and Jennifer. Hi, John. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Were you taking a class, Jennifer? I am. I'm taking Jim McCormick's class. I'm in the oh, second. Oh, yeah, Jim McCormick. That's right. Oh, how's that going? I, I, I just, it's amazing. <laughs> I love her. Uh, she's really good. She, she, what's her husband's name? Michael that... Rooney. Michael Rooney? Yeah, Michael Rooney. So he's hey. teaching, we sometimes see him. He pops in and out, and their kids, too. And sometimes I just see his harp. It's just like, I feel like for that, you know, 45 minutes, I'm in Sligo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both they're so good. They come to Goderich a lot to the Celtic College there. I've heard them perform a lot there, you know. And they're just oh my gosh, they're so good. He's such a great composer. He's yeah. really playing original and just, compositions. And... Yes. So talented. And they're just she's so um she's a really good teacher. Mm -hmm. I think she that's her she teaches I think she's a principal now or whatever you call it in Ireland, but she's like a head teacher of a I don't know if it's a primary school, so she's just really wow. good. busy. <laughs> Very fortunate. She's busy. Yeah, two or three boys. Today. Yes, and I think they all play too. I think they all play like whistle and flute. So, wow. Wow. yeah, they're just they they come across as just really down to earth, just really nice people. You know, she's amazing. <laughs> she really is so cool. Mm -hmm. I now every time I like I think of a tune that she's taught, I think of how she says it like salute to Baltimore. You know, like she's got this really raspy low voice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now's the time to be taking lessons, that's for sure. Really I can't tell you. I'm at, I you know, COVID's been really good to me. The silver lining. For sure. <coughs> <clears throat> Gotta go put food in the oven. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, I'll go over the uh, <coughs> the Bloom of Youth set, and then uh, we'll see if anybody else has something they want to go over. And I'll try to keep it slow. Thank you. 
That wasn't too fast. No, that was nice. Very okay. nice. Thank you. Eric, do you know where friends at today? Uh, she did call me. She said she was feeling a little bit under the weather and wasn't going to uh, make it today. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Tim, do you got one? Do you want to go over with us? Oh, I can't hear you, Tim. Oh, I think you're on mute. Let's see. Sorry, I thought I unmuted. Um, you mean something that has been taught in the last six months? Kind yeah, of? yeah. Um, what about Road to Glen Payne, Glen Tan? Okay. I'm seeing one thumbs up. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I see two. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Um, um, let's see. At a, you know, regular pace? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good.
since I taught that I, I took a class with uh, Marla Fibish and she taught it with a slightly different ending. So I, I keep <laughs> slipping that in there and not on purpose. I like it, but it, I did, it's not the way I taught it. So I try not to confuse you, but the, just the difference between or um, um, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But it's compatible, I think. Something like that? Um, see, the way it taught was, uh, I'll, I'll play the B section twice. And I'll try to play it the way I taught it the first ending, and then Marla's way, the second one. was off of the Mick O'Brien um, recording, uh, May Morning Dew, I think it's the name of the album. Um, that's the way I learned it, and that's the way I taught it, and she just had a slightly different ending. But it's kind of nice to mix them up, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a nice variation. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Ashley, could you uh, play that tune that you taught us last week? Sure. That'd be nice. No problem. Timmy Clifford's? Yeah, Timmy Clifford's. Where did you get that, Ashley? What? Where did you get that tune? Um, Solus album. Oh, it's really nice. I did what I missed last week, but I got the sheet music. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice tune. I like it a lot. They did it on Reunion, I think, the live album. Yeah. All right. Not too fast. <laughs> trying to remember that tune that they play after that or I think it goes up to the I actually do not know that one yeah <laughs> I can't think of it right now yeah um, I don't suppose you have the music that you could put in the chat or anything like that I, I don't think I'm on the mailing list so I didn't 
I have oh, okay. parts of it, but I don't. Can you, if you put your email in the mailing list, I'll make sure you're on it. Okay, thank you. Also, but yes, I'll put the sheet music there too. I'd be able to put it in chat, let me see. I thought I had you on there, Joe, but I, yeah, must not be. There are those two separate ones. There's one for the Zoom sessions and then there's an active member one. Ah, okay. So maybe we just need to make sure that they match. That they're, yeah. Well, also, uh, Joe, you might check uh, some of your other folders because my notifications come into, uh, uh, I don't know, some weird folder in Windows for some reason or another. I don't know why. It doesn't show up in my regular email, my, my regular inbox. It shows up in some other folder, so. I suppose it could get filtered out. I'll, I'll check, because sometimes, you know, if you have like a mass mailing to multiple recipients, it'll filter yeah. those out as junk mail sometimes. I think for me, it came out in my forums folder. Weird. Which, yeah. Joe, I also just sent the link to the whole folder of music to you. Oh, thank you. And then I'll just put that one. It's really nice actually having that collection. Oh, good. I know I, I started doing that for myself when I was like, I bet other people would like this too because I lose everything in emails and then I have to look up the keyword every time I want to find it. Waste of time. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and if anybody finds anything that's missing from that, let me know because Linda already sent me a few things that she found that I didn't include, so. Linda Yanta? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I found how to put a file in there, maybe. I was wondering where Linda's been. Have you talked to her lately? No, she just sent me, um, she just sent me an email with that stuff oh, okay. in it, so. Okay. I have not. Well, I'll uh, I'll do Happy Days again. The polka set.
that second one called Eric? Uh, the second one is uh, the only name we've got for it is Calorans. Or no, 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 no. Padraig O'Keefe. Uh, O'Keefe, yes. Padraig O'Keefe. And there's a nice, there is a nice uh, video on YouTube of um, Nathan Gurley playing it with Laura Federson. Any other uh, tunes that I, folks want to review? I have a request. Sure. Can somebody play through the the polkas that um, Marty Somberg played, or or the or those jigs? Yeah, that'd be nice. Somebody put somebody had played them. I, somebody, yeah. uh, I think James, you know those, don't you? You wanna? I can. Yeah, I, I remember. I think I remember two of them. Um, the girls at the bus stop in the gray day in Tree Town. And I think I can play the jig, but I just don't remember how it begins. Um, but I can tr I can try these two reels. Let's do that. Okay. Um, so the girls at the bus stop is one. It starts like this. So we'll do that one first, and then I might need a second to start the other one, which I think it. I don't know. I might be. I might have the wrong titles, but I think this is the girls at the bus stop.
We'll see if I can make it. I can't, I can't remember the jig. Ugh, I can't remember that one. So that's, that that's was great. Yeah. Sounded Thanks. very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Who knows all the jigs? Let Timmy do it. I, I have to remember how they start. <laughs> I haven't played in my couple weeks, at least. How about the polkas? Same thing. If, if I heard the first, first two notes, I could do it. But yeah. I don't remember. I remember the beginning of one is... I don't remember. I'm not sure I could do the whole thing, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. I need to spend some more time on those myself. For sure. It hey, like Tristan, nice to see you. Three weeks in a row, man. Tristan, yeah. Oh, can't hear you. Can't hear you. Hmm. Oh, well, I, hear, you I hear you a little bit better? now. Yeah, that's better. I hear you, um, but that's fine. Is that better? That is, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, very <laughs> white. <laughs> Must be like January, New Year's resolutions or something. It's like yeah. the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to, be, good to be back with you guys, though. So what you're trying to say is we'll see you for another week or two, and then you'll be gone again? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
I got my uh, my cookies delivered today. Sweet, yeah. Apparently, they've been shipping super fast. If you just if you do the shipping option, yeah. So, cool, cool. It was quick. Yes, thank you very much. Hello. Now I remember. <laughs> okay, you stay, uh, Girl Scout cookies. Uh, yeah, you might have. You might have just missed that. I'll post the link again if anybody's interested here. Um, oh, on the, was, did you post it on the chat? Yeah, I think I put it up in the chat. Oh, I must have missed it. It's also on my Facebook page for anybody that's on there. But there you go. If anybody's interested, uh, Taylor's Taylor's looking to repeat as troop champion. She's she's cool. well on par. Yeah. Well, uh, why don't we uh, start with the start with the round robin here? Um, James, is, do you got one that you want to start us off with? Well, I think I think I remember the jig, Marty's jig. Okay, cool. So I'll, I'll try that. So it's the one that starts. <laughs> that one. So I think I've got it. So. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, here we go. James. Yeah, great job. Thank you. Joe, you're you're next on the list. Okay. Um, let's see. Um how about some uh like uh Top of the Cork Road, aka Father O'Flynn's, and then the Tar Road to Sligo, a couple of jigs. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good.
One more. that I completely my brain was doing the exact same thing so I had no trouble following it <laughs> it just recently struck me I'm like oh my god those tunes are so similar but one's more like in a B minor and the other one's more in a D you know so I started playing them together and I tangled them up a little bit That's a good one. I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. It's an old one. Oldie but a goodie. Yeah, that was a good set. Ashley, you got, got a set for us? Sure. Um, how about the Congress reel? And then another one if I can make it through. <laughs> I'll think of another one halfway there. <laughs> Hybrid version of that, it's something else. The second tune. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> humors of Hella, sort of. What is it? I kept mixing it with humors of Tella. Oh. But I keep mixing it with what's that other reel that we learned that starts really similarly? Uh, I was thinking it's a lot like the Bloom of Youth, but it's up a fifth. Yes, yes, it is that. Yeah, I kept mixing it with that one at the beginning yeah. a little bit. Yeah. It's only like one note difference. Yeah. Right. Cool. Donna. All right. I'm, I'm going to say farewell. All right. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay. Well, it was good seeing you. Yep. Stay well, guys. You too. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Mark, it's your turn. If you got one for us. Yeah, I can probably scrape some screechiness together. Um, up left and right. about that it was uh, escaping me you did good, good. Oh, well, I, well I wouldn't say good I would say muddled through it <laughs> what are the names of those mark that was uh, banks of Newfoundland there's only one tune there uh, Joe if you were thinking there was more than one well <laughs> sorry <laughs> Tristan, you're up next. If you got one. Hmm. I might need a few minutes to think of something. Okay. Uh, John, what do you got for us? Well, we'll start with a con concertina reel. We might end with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was great, John. Thank you. Uh, I forget the name of that second tune. Is that one? I am struggling to remember. It's uh, the Blackthorn or Black Black Rogue, I think, was it? Black Rogue. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Cool. John, did you uh, do you by chance have your original sound turned on? I, I don't know if anybody else has experienced it, but it sounded like it was uh, overloading the mic a little bit or something. Okay. Um, I have turn off original sound showing, so that means it's on. That means yeah. it's on, so you're good then. Um, I have a mic setting it auto, automatic, uh, adjust, automatically adjust volume. Probably don't want that. You don't want that? Okay. No. You want to set it and probably you could turn you could turn your um your mic volume up a little bit it's a little bit quiet okay gotcha hold it let me try um turn the mic volume Jeez, it's up all the way i think is it okay uh but the okay okay I'm going to have to do some testing with this. I am using a external mic. Are you? Okay. But it has no lights to tell me it's working or not. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't give you a... Like, there is no light. It has, it's just, you plug it in and cross your fingers. That it's good. Yeah, okay. I see. That, um, that concertina reel that yeah. popped up in an online session I was doing over the weekend... Does anyone know the second name for that reel? No. Is this a quiz? It's called the Farting Badger. Wow. <laughs> that was like a concertina reel. In parentheses, the Farting Badger. I'm like, oh, well, you don't okay. understand how they came up with that, right? <laughs> no. How? Well, a concertina. I mean, come on. Oh. So. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I see that. Mm. Good point. <laughs> I just like stop playing and start laughing. I'm like that's just ridiculous. Okay. Well, Pat, Patrick or so I, I can't remember that. I, I don't know the remember the name of the tune. It's in Gaelic, and I I don't remember that stuff. But he uh, he said it was loosely translated as the rotting boy. Oh, that's it unfortunate. Sound, yeah, it does sound a little disgusting, doesn't it? I think he said it didn't really mean that, but it's one way you can translate it. So Oof. They certainly come up with interesting names, don't they? Certainly. Uh, let me see.
that second one called eric second one is the rights of man yes yeah first one was Bant bantry bay hey i uh i got a question about the audio because i was i have a feeling that zoom audio is completely different from the settings on the computer and um i may have had the microphone set on the crappy microphone for zoom while on the computer it was set on my preferred one and they they i thought they would be linked you know you know you sound much better right now <laughs> okay <laughs> that so did anyone ever notice that that it's the audio settings are mine are, sometimes has a mind of its own and it will just in a zoom meeting will have the wrong microphone selected okay sometimes okay. you can pick with your zoom allows you to pick among the various microphones that you have hooked up. So yeah, but it doesn't know what it starts on. Yeah. Okay. I learned something. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Tim, you're up next. Did you say Tim? I did. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I got to blow my nose. That's all right. Good timing. Um, boy. Um, this is something I've been working on, and it might be a little rough. Um, I'm trying to think how the first one starts. It's, um, Give me just one second. Uh, oh, the Galti Rangers. Um, and whatever else follows there. Um,
Blackish, but um, that last one I was just learned yesterday, relearned it from scratch. Um, uh, Dennis Murphy and Julia Clifford. So it, I like it a lot better, and I like it a whole lot better when I learn how to play it. <laughs> but I like their version anyway. Yeah. So what was the name of that, Tim? Um. Uh, the last one is Cal, Cal Callahan's or Callahan's. I know there's other Callahan's, but it's okay. one of them. Um, the real Schlieve Lucra stuff. Um, cool. and what's the, so Galti Rangers, and what's the middle one? Um, I can't remember. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, James, you're next up. I'm going to do uh, Cooley's and then try and go right into Father Kelly's. Okay. Thank you. 
Sounded great. Thanks, James. Nice, James. I'm going to sign off for tonight. Thank you. Okay. Good seeing you, John. Be safe. Thank you. John. Thank you. See you later. You too. Joe, you're up next. Okay. Um, hmm. How about, um, you know, maids in the cherry tree, maids in, made in a cherry tree? Sounds like one of the 12 days of Christmas to me. Yeah. Um, I think you need to have like eight of them or something in a cherry tree. Um, and then I would, then I'll follow that. I was, um, if I can, I'll do, uh, like Eggy White's chattering magpie, the, ch uh, the chattering magpie. Cool. Okay. made in a cherry tree yes the maid in a cherry the maid in the cherry tree or the maid a maid in the cherry tree okay <clears throat> and the chattering magpie and then the chattering magpie okay i think the first one's called the kurok races as well yeah cool having quite a windstorm here tonight are you guys having any weather? Earlier tonight here, it was really windy. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, Ashley, it's your turn. Okay. Um, do you guys know the Mill House? Real? 
don't know if I've ever played it with you guys before. Mel how um, no, no? Dor Doris Mel. Doris Mel. No. no, okay. I can pick something else then. No, no, that's all right. Go ahead. Okay. I can play it through once maybe. <laughs> so, okay. Full disclosure, I'm not sure if it's a Scottish or an Irish tune, honestly. Sound for it. But. That's good. That's nice. Yeah, it's a nice tune. But I have no idea where it came from. So. Is it named after Nixon? <laughs> you know, maybe. First time I heard the name, I thought it was named after the guy on The Simpsons. So, there you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Mark. You're up next. Uh, you know, um, we haven't heard um, or played uh, what? Oh, Dr. O'Neill's? Oh. We haven't done that for a while, have we? Oh, boy. I, I don't think we have. Yeah, that's good. What was that, Ashley? Oh boy! Oh boy! It's more parts than my brain can handle, but that's fine. <laughs> it is. It's and and I can't promise my brain will be any better. So, so. followed up with the gold ring, right? right. <laughs> no, I, I think uh, I think two times through Doctor O'Neill's is about all I can take. And. Uh,
Well done. Better already. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> what was that? It's a good tune. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I like that. I, I have to say farewell, guys, gentlemen. Okay. Yep. Ashley, okay. did you get a uh, vaccine yet? No. It's a long saga that they sent us a link. We were supposed to get one. We all made appointments, then they canceled the appointments. Then they told us that we had to go through our district to get them, and then the district told us we had to go through the health department, and nobody knows what's going on, so definitely not. Did you? <laughs> no, I don't think there's any vaccine available. No, I think that's the problem, is they were expecting to have it um, for educators, and then they just canceled everybody's appointment. They found so. out, you know, today or yesterday that there is no plan. There never was a plan in on a national level. Right. Nope. So if you uh, if you have your health care through like a, a, a decent sized system like U of M or Henry Ford or Beaumont, they have vaccines. Janet got hers yesterday. So that's good. So uh, I'm not from Beaumont, but yeah, I've heard nothing. Yeah, Beaumont's not Beaumont's got real problems getting their vaccines out. I know a couple people who are also on the list in Beaumont and they're they're messed up. On the list from the county and from Beaumont, I've heard nothing except it's not available. Yeah, when they canceled ours, it was, and U of M sent out a, a notice that said they are indefinitely suspending all first dose appointments because they don't have enough even to give people the second dose <laughs> that they already got the first dose from, which is a big problem. Yeah. So it'll pick up. Yeah. We'll all be vaccinated by 2030? May. I think there's some organized people uh, in the driver's seat finally. So Yeah, I heard that maybe. We'll yeah. keep our, you know, keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. For sure. I'm hopeful. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that, Joe? Organized people in the driver's seat. I don't know what that means. As opposed to stark raving lunatics who... <laughs> <laughs> want to just be like brush it under the rug and be like don't worry about it those are yeah. such nice words for what was happening herd immunity don't worry about it bernie's sitting out there with his mittens keeping an eye on everything that's right <laughs> those are killing me oh that my god the, it's so that was funny. the fast photo of the whole thing <laughs> really? i saw something that just was it was like he, it wasn't the meme of him sitting in the chair, but it was like he came dressed like the inauguration was on his to-do list. It was one of yeah. the things he wanted to check off. <laughs> yeah. Like he was heading to the mailbox with his Right, he had things to get to and that was I'll one. Go to, yeah. Before I go to the post office. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Ashley. Ashley. Bye. See you later. Guys. Okay. Oh, let's see. Where am I? Uh, Tristan. Hmm. I think it's your turn. Back again already, huh? Yeah. Um. All right. So about. What about these folk groups we have?
Do you know the names of those, Tristan? I um, I, I know them. Halfway um, decent. Um, uh, the first one, the I believe it's Christian too. Ian's favorite. And okay. Then, uh, riding on a load of hay or carded hay or something like that. Okay. Sorry, you guys hear me okay? Good. Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. It's better now. Yeah, when you put the, it's easier to hear you talking when you put that mic right there, of course. But yeah, I could hear the whistle just fine. Yeah, I think it uh, it blew out the, blew things out a bit with the whistle. Yeah, those are good ones. Yeah. Those, those should, we should teach those. Those would be good ones for teaching. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I'm. Trying to remember how to play Boys of Bally Lachlan. Uh, I want. Flubs in there. Oh, less less flubs than I had. <laughs> Such a great tune. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta work on that. That's uh that's a great tune. Good thing there's a mute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That Tim. is a great tune. 
It's your turn, Tim. All right. Um, about that set, um, I think it's uh, Anlan Dube and Donald Blue and um, Ladies' Cup of Tea. Right. Seems like the last two weeks we've been playing a lot of tunes that we haven't played in months and months or since we were meeting at Greenwood, it seems like. Every tune that I've played in the, any one of these Zooms is a tune that I haven't played in months and months. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. 
Yes. Well, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty wiped out. I yep. don't know if you guys are ready to call it a night, does anybody want to play another? Are you guys ready? Mark, I'm good. If you I'm have, good. Uh, I thought you were unmuting to go like, well, I was going to play this. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Somebody's just chopping at the bit to play. Uh, Joe's Epitaph. So it's the Bucks, is it? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn, Joe. We're going to go that way. I could try it. I haven't played the Bucks in a while, in months. What's okay. the worst can happen? You and me, both. right? Oh, just you see, just you listen. Wind up mounted on a wall somewhere. No, that's not it. It's escaping me right now. Anybody else got it? Tristan, you got it. Maybe. maybe. Is that, is that Lucy Campbell's mixed up? Am I doing Lucy Campbell's? There you go, Mark's got it. idea where you guys are. Keep going. <laughs> Each in his own key. Right. Sorry, I, I had my mute on the whole time. I totally forgot about it.
something like that. I think I might have left a part out somewhere, but uh, no, you, you had it. I think it was it. Okay. Did you ever, Joe? Did you ever share that meme that I sent you of the <laughs> Orange County Chopper guys arguing <laughs> about the bucks? Yeah, no, I love that. I just came across that just the other day. I was like, oh yeah, um, where the uh, the Orange can You know how the Eric sent me this meme of the. You know how the Orange County Choppers are always are fighting. The, the the father's always fighting with the son. So it was a. Uh, uh, the bucks of Warren Moore, because so the, the father's like, so okay, so what should we use to close the what should we play next? And the son goes, How about the bucks of Warren Moore? Then the father's like, The bucks, that's a half ass tune. It's shitty. The only reason they played at the end is because <laughs> makes everyone want to stop playing. And he's like, Well, maybe we could and then the son's come back, well, maybe we could play something else if you'd learned a new tune in the last 25 years. And they're just like going at it. It's done like a little comic book strip, like yeah. a, with word bubbles and stuff. It's really funny. <laughs> it's like Oron players should never be deciding what tunes to play next. <laughs> and then they're throwing <laughs> chairs at each other. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> well, it's like they say, uh, you know, people tell guitar jokes, concertina jokes, whatever. Everybody laughs. Somebody tells a bar joke, people just nod their head. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, gents, it's always always a pleasure. Good to see everybody. Good Stay see well, you. and Thanks. I'll see you next week. I hope. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good job. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. All right, Eric, hang on for a minute. Sure. Okay. Hey, guys. Good night, Tristan. Good night, Tim. Good night, gentlemen. How's it going? I'll show you the uh, show you the latest iteration. Cool. So hold on, just just a second. Let me get it. So I'm done putting on all the color codes. So there's the oh, front. Nice. Oh my gosh. It's uh, it's actually pretty uh, pretty accurate. It's maybe a little browner than that. It's got a little bit more depth of color than what the what I'm seeing on the on the image here. It's gorgeous. So, so yeah. Uh, so I'm done. I just got a, a few more clear coats. So I've got maybe a day and a half of clear coats to go, and then it's gonna be ready to let sit for a few weeks. Cool. And then, uh, so as long as you're okay with it, uh, you like that? It's it's gorgeous, yeah, I love it. Really? Yeah. Well, all right. I don't know if you can see this side. I tried yeah. to give it some, like, a little bit of wear age look to it, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, so like, you know, like, maybe. Like right around this area, you can see it's like a little lighter color from chin that. rest and stuff. And yeah, yeah. and then like up here, you know, where people drip it like that, you know. So anyhow, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, there's some flaws if you like look really hard, you know, you can find, I'm sure, a few things. But honestly, for a very first varnish effort, I think it came out okay. Yeah. You know, so uh, hopefully you'll be you'll like it in the way it plays. So I I like it so far, from what I Good. can see. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Good. Good. And like I say, it's it, it looks a little browner. I'm trying to I don't Does know if it? there's okay. a. It's just slightly browner. It's got a little bit more richness to the tone. Mostly what you're seeing coming through here is is a bit muted. I think you get a little bit more of the gold coming through. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But uh, so anyhow, there it is. Awesome. So um, it'll probably be three weeks, and then I'll have to rub it out. And uh, so three weeks to let the varnish cure okay. uh, really well. Well, I don't, it's not going to be cured really well, but it's going to be cured enough to be able to just rub it out. Yeah. Um, and then I'll immediately after that begin setting it up. Cool. So. So I'd say by the end of, let's just get, take a guess at the end of February. End of February, yeah. You should have it. And then you can you can uh, run it through its paces and see how you like it. Very cool. So now um, let me switch topics here. Uh, what did I do with 
I dropped a, I have a little stick that I use to hang it with. Oh, it's, oh there it is. Give me just a second. Okay. I got to rehang this up. I don't, I, I hang it all the time. I don't like set it down on anything. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so your other fiddle here, let's see if you can see this. I don't know. So I've got, I've got the, the, the crack is all glued up. Okay. And uh, I'm not even sure actually that it, that it went all the way through. I thought it did at one point, but I don't, um, and now I've changed my mind about that. Not convinced? Okay. Uh, it glued up pretty well. Um, yeah. See if I can. So it looks similar to what you had it. Yeah. Still. Yeah. So there's this little dent there that most of it's kind of come up. Yeah. Uh, but so I don't know if you saw my email. So the deal is, um, it looks a little more shadowy because it, than it actually is, like dark because it's a it's a dent. Yeah, it's reflecting right. differently. Right. So um, I got a couple of things. Uh, there, there you go. You get the glare. You can kind of see it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm having this this. Uh, existential challenge this instrument if you notice like compare this instrument to the one i just showed you yeah this yeah. this one has no shading in it at all right right you know and yeah. not only that it, it's a very clear coat like the varnish is very clear and it's also light colored compared to other varnishes yeah yeah and so i'm I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is try and fill that dent. Okay. But at the moment, none of the stuff I have to fill it with, I'm I'm not convinced it's going to disappear. I'm more convinced it's actually going to turn into a dark shadow. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So so look at the so is that my uh, Aberline line that you've got in your hand? It is. Yes. All right. So look at the uh, uh, the top. And look at the uh, let's see the treble side, lo uh, lower bow treble lower side bow. along yeah. the edge. Uh huh. You see, there's a dark area there. Uh yes. It should be yeah. about. That's an area I filled using some of the filler I have, and you can see it turns. Yeah. Yeah. And that was an unintended consequence of the filler I was using. Okay. Well, I've got a couple different kinds of filler, but because what it does is it refracts differently, if it's okay. if it's thick enough. Like that was a a deep enough thing that I had to fill that it, it refracts differently. So I'm yeah. I'm worried about that with your instrument because it's even worse. Because it's so light. Because it's so light and clear, and and if it were shaded, I could probably get around that. But yeah, yeah. So um, so I can do. So I have one option that I'm gonna that I'm gonna try. Um, which is uh. Um, there's a, apparently a, so, so normally like the filler varnish shellac plus a couple of other things in it. So um, there's a technique I just read about that you can take thickened shellac and, and use it to fill it in. But what I would do is uh, use like a pure clear shellac. Like it has no color to it. Okay, yeah. So if I don't have any. <laughs> Okay, so I have got some has has pigment in it. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's not really pigment. It's uh, so uh, this is the lightest one I've got. It's it's very light. Yeah. There it is. It's it, you can see it's very clear, but even that will add color into this and cause it to to show. Yeah. So. Um, my friend's gonna give me some, but I gotta get it. It's gonna be next week. Okay. Um, before I can get it, because right, I gotta drive down to this place in a row. Okay. So I'm gonna. It's gonna take me a little bit to do a couple of you know tests and experiments to see how it all works out. Okay. Cause I don't want to test it on this. Right. Yeah. Um, so the other option is I could just sort of touch it up and leave it as it is. Uh, but um, if you want. You know, I mean, my my 
current current uh, sort of uh, uh, path is to go ahead and try and fill it with this clear filler. Yeah. And then and then the underlying color will just show through. That's maybe right. with a maybe with a little bit of adjustment on my part to kind of get it to blend in a little bit. It should be it okay. should be okay. Okay. So yeah, um, like that's, that that's gonna okay. So that's gonna take another. My guess is two weeks before I actually start can do that. Can do that. Yeah, because it takes a little while to thicken it up and blah blah blah. So yeah, as long as you're happy playing the the Abra line and you know I'm, in, I'm enjoying it more and more. Yeah, it's it's a pleasure to play this thing. Yeah. Oh, good. So but that, I'm in, I'm hoping to get this back to you as soon as I can, but. Um, I yeah. don't also don't want to do a crappy job don't, at it either. No, don't feel rushed at all. I'm so. I'm not okay. playing a whole lot these days, anyways. But <laughs> me neither. Yeah. I got to figure out what's going on with this other fiddle. It sounds really, it sounds really scratchy. I I think I got to fiddle with the sound post or something. Yeah. Which wouldn't surprise me because I cut a new sound post and after a while it hadn't. I bought that fiddle. 15 years ago and I and I finally got it all restored and strung up two years ago yeah and so it's it it, it undergoes changes and so it probably could even use a new new sound post put into it okay the one I've been playing while you're playing my my other one yeah and it it sounds terrible <laughs> from really? my ear really? it sounds all scratchy and you know just ah. so yeah. All right, that's show and tell's over. Are you <laughs> uh, are you in line to get a vaccine anytime soon or Janet not anytime Janet soon? Janet qualified for yeah for for various reasons. reasons. So yeah, yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. So I'm, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, I don't even get the friends and family <laughs> uh, shot. Yeah, I'm sure I'm at the end of the list myself. So, so what, uh, what went on with your, your sister's house? Who's got somebody have COVID tested positive. So a, fr a friend of hers. Yeah. Um, who used to be her neighbor when she was married to her ex-husband and we're still friends with her. Um, and I didn't realize she was over at my sister's house when I went over there last Friday, um, to have dinner and they ended up having dinner with us. And she's a, she's actually a dental hygienist, and I I just made an appointment to switch from my dentist to, to her office. And then I uh, she sent me an IM, what was it, day before yesterday, apologizing, saying, "I'm so sorry, I just tested positive for COVID." And I great yeah. So I was sitting with him at the dinner table, and so that was when. That was last Friday. You're probably okay, actually. I've I've had some sinus things and, but. Uh oh, that's it. You're you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, nothing. No, I, I mean, if she just if she just did she just test positive? Like, did you get that IM today or yesterday? No, it was day before yesterday. Would have been. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Yeah. Oh well, in that case. Yeah, because if she would have, if she went in and got her test on Monday, because they're yeah. running about twenty-four hour turnaround, then yeah, she could be she could be very infectious on on Saturday. And I wouldn't. It could be five days before I sh start really showing yep. signs. Yep. Man, and you're playing my fiddle. <laughs> you have to bleach that sucker. You will <laughs> put it in the UV chamber and oh that's yeah 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 i got that so i'll just do that yeah. actually it's uvc uvc that they uh that kills the kills the uh, virus and i've got uv mostly uva uh, which okay. which is quite a bit higher in the frequency spectrum really but i think i think it would i think it, it would uh affect them over time it's so intense though yeah i bet it would i bet it would do something i don't know yeah it's not that intense no, these these the things I have are, are bulbs that they were selling as under counter uh, black lights for oh. fun, you know, like okay. the kids or whatever. So they're not they're not that bad. Yeah, I see. 
So. Well, I, I keep like, my fingers crossed. I'm yeah. taking a lot of vitamin D and trying to eat healthy. So hopefully it won't be a problem. Yeah, not more, not much more you can do than that. Yeah. Well, well but if you get it, then, you know, you can feel and, and survive, <laughs> which, which of course you will. Uh, then uh, you can you can feel like, you know, you're good for the next six months. Yeah, I'll have some immunity for a while, at least. Yeah. Yep. Although they say you still get the vaccine, it still boosts even even more. Even yeah, definitely. I want to get it as soon as yep. I can. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm getting a little little cabin feverish myself. I mean, it's you should see my hair. My hair doesn't really look it, but it's it's about this long. It comes down to about here. Yeah. And it, and it covers my ears are totally co- like almost totally covered. And it's it's down like four inches or something down the back of my neck. Yeah. It's driving me crazy, but you know, it's like no. We're not we're not doing extraneous things like that. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's funny. I, I was think, wa- I was watching ahead. the uh the first uh press conference yesterday and there was one of the lady reporters in there, she's got her mask on and she looks. She looked like she just rolled out of bed. Her hair was all twisted and mangled in different <laughs> directions. <laughs> she was asking a question. I was like, "Lady, you're you're in the White House. At least comb your hair." <laughs> it was funny. <coughs> well, I, you know, I don't think I've had hair this long since I, if I, since I was probably sixteen or seventeen. Really. Yeah, I mean it's it's I mean it's it's it, it, it like it it sticks out like this way you know if I wore a hat or something was outside it just kind of comes down and shoots out whoops shoots yeah. out like ninety degrees it's just it's just it's annoying but yeah. it's the way it goes yeah I let if I let mine grow out very long it makes my bald spot stand out like a spotlight so. If I, keep, if I keep it short, it's not as noticeable. Yeah, because they can. Yeah, because you can basically see your whole head. Yeah. Keep it short enough. Right. Right. So. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go uh, enjoy the wood stove. Sounds nice. Sounds nice. I gotta probably gotta go put some wood in it. It's yeah. probably been burning for a while since since I checked it. So. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I think. Um, you know, next week this time I should be experimenting and hopefully, you know, it, it's uh, the, the dent mostly came out. And in, in some ways I could say believe it because it's not really that bad. Yeah. And it looks it looks like it's just got some miles on it. Yeah. But on the other hand, you know, there's not that much else uh, dented on this. There's a couple dents, I think. But um not too bad overall. Do you want me to clean this at all? You've got a little bit of rosin built up. I yes. If if that's okay. too much trouble. No, no. I got this new stuff. Uh, uh, it was. Hang on. Let me put this down, and I'll show you this other top I got. Uh, which one was it? This one, I think. Yeah. So you know how rotten kind of looks kind of gritty, it looks like a gritty buildup. Yeah, yeah. So I had this top, it was so caked on, it was like, you know, multiple times worse than your instrument. Okay. And I had this stuff, it's called uh, Volpex. Um, it's, a, it's a conservation, uh, conservationist cleaner, they use it to clean paintings and things like that really yeah and the stuff is like i don't know if you can so this right here was was all sorry all caked all up in here was caked yeah uh and it doesn't really show very well on the picture but like if you can see there is there's like nothing left on there there's a lot it, yeah, it's it, it took it it just took it all off yeah. And it's smooth, it's shiny, and it's, it, it uh, um, you know, uh, 
I was pretty amazed at how well it works. It just takes a couple of drops and you put it on, you let it soak for a while. And you're like right on, a, on, a, on a piece of paper towel and you just, just kind of wipe it and it smears right off. Oh, nice. So okay. um, if you'd like, I'll, I'll do that on your instrument. I would, I would love that. Yeah. I, I got some stuff at Char. It's the yeah, don't use brand. that crap. It's crap. Yeah, it didn't do it. Still well, and not only that, it, it has like a lot of those cleaners. They're not, they're not really good for the instrument. Some yeah. of them have alcohol in them. Some of them have like waxes and other types of polish type stuff in there. Yeah. And it gets it, 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 it no, don't use that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I, I used it on there once or twice and realized that it wasn't really doing much good at all. So I stopped. Yeah. But I had some stuff when I was a kid that um, worked really well. And I don't, I don't even remember what it was. It Fiddle Bright or it was some. Yeah, that sounds right. Some brand name. It, some of those have like abrasives in them. And, really? And, oh, wait a minute. I'm being summoned. Okay. Oh, never mind. It's just a, it's just a ghost. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet she, Eric says. Hi. Hello. <laughs> anyway. any rate. So, um, yeah, some of those things have like abrasives in them. Like, you know, I, I know I've mostly I've been warned off those th those types of cleaners. Yeah. Uh, uh, so she almost knocked my fiddle off, off the chair. My chair. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, I've been I've been warned off those things, and I just don't use them. Usually, just wipe it on with a rag after playing. Yeah. And if you ever get caked on caked on rosin, it, like never use anything that's got alcohol in it. Yeah. Because uh, because I, I presume your instrument's got an alcohol varnish on it. It'll sure it'll is. just if you use alcohol, it'll strip it right off. Right. Yeah. Um, and you will be an unhappy camper. What's your opinion of using alcohol to clean the, the fingerboard? Um, you can do that. Because that's what I do, yeah. Um, you can do that as long as you're really, really careful. Yeah. Because if you, if you even get a drop on your instrument, it's going to just dissolve it. Yeah. Now, some instruments that are a couple hundred years old can handle a little bit of alcohol on them because, because the finish is hardened up so much. So hard. Your instrument's not that old. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's and it'll just it'll just strip it right off. I think I actually did get a drop on the. What is it on the right side of the fingerboard? Looking straight at it, there's a little streak. That I think I got on there. Yeah, let me look. On the right side of the fingerboard. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it. Well, see it. is it is it like uh, yeah along the side down here? Right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That could be. Um, that could be, or it could actually be if you have if you put your fingers there. I do do that um, too. Yeah. So. Your fingers will polish the instrument, actually. Really? Like it'll it'll rub it smooth and polish it. Okay. Uh, I don't think I. Uh, let me see if it's the one that my dad's that I used to play here. If that's the one. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. So this is my dad's instrument. Yeah. That I used that I used to I played for years. See the shiny spot right there? Uh huh. Yeah. That's all from just my fingers. I see that. Yeah. And and so like the rest of it's got dirt and smudge on it or whatever. It's just kind of. Yeah. But that it's spot. Flat. My, yeah, it's more flat. And it's and it's it's very are. it's very smooth. Like that's I used to hold my instrument just like this. I'd sit and, you know when I'm like this. I'd hold yeah. my instrument. Yeah, yeah. Just the uh, just the oils on the skin have have polished that. 
Interesting. Yeah. I mean, you just, yeah. So it could be that. Okay. Um, all right. I sort of decided I, I definitely need to be even more extra careful when I do that. Yeah. Don't do me a favor. Don't wipe down my fingerboard with the, with the alcohol. I won't. No. I my won't. Abra line. Yeah. I won't do that. <laughs> Now this one, just to show you, and again, I don't know if you can see this. You gotta find the right angle. See, there's like a little smudge right there. Yeah, I see that, yeah. I accidentally had just a little bit of alcohol on my fingers and I accidentally touched it right there. Yeah. And even though it, it looks like a smudge, but actually what it's done, if you, if you look, feel it it's actually bubbled up the, the varnish you know it's like pushed it around okay. and i just had just a little bit of alcohol in my fingers and i and i touched it and that yeah. and i that was a that was a nasty mistake i made i'll have to sand that out and retouch it up yeah i've done a lot of retouching on this instrument already so it's not like it's a big deal but um it's another it's this brown yeah. it's like an old one there's that looks it's got similar color tone to yours yeah yeah it's just so. it's definitely got that deep deep belly under the back there yeah that one's uh that's an uh that's like a you know it's just a relatively cheap um saxon instrument it uh and it's got that uh i don't know i think hans calls it a pregnant chicken look <laughs> or yeah. like a chicken breast or something it's got that i ended up buying it i think i paid 65 bucks for it or something really but the, the back had been bashed in the the ends the the ribs at the bottom of the, uh, the instrument were all like out like this there's no end block in it you know the whole thing was just uh, but I bought it for for class. Okay. Yeah. And then over the years, I used I did the various different things. I uh, retouch on that a lot of retouch. I did a patch on the back. I did some. Uh, I, I I took out the neck and reset it, and uh, it needed to be reset. There's a lot of stuff I did to it, and it's it's a nice looking instrument. Yeah. Um, it's just not sounding really good at the moment. I have to play around with it, I think, and figure out what its magic is. Do some adjustments. Yep. Yeah. So, all right, I'm going to head off to the wood stove and reload it now. Gotcha. Yep. So, so um, hope you, uh, hope we'll see you next week. Yes, I will. I will definitely be here. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm laid up in bed. Good. Yeah, who knows? Or, or in an ICU or something. Hopefully not. No, hopefully not. I'm sure you won't be. Okay. Well, yeah. So. Be safe, Mark. Yeah, you too. Okay. Yep. And don't be on my instrument. I won't. I won't but do don't that. put alcohol on it. Don't, <laughs> no, no <laughs> don't do that either. Only a dry cloth. Trust me, that. It, 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 yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Eric. Yep. Good night. Talk to you later. Talk Bye. to you later, Mark. Bye-bye.